So, it is another round, another game. Yeah, buddy for EG. Yeah, buddy on the attack this time. Seven now you're Yan Yao Du. Falconetti Gunners and Crescent Monks are the bands. And the vote for the game winner is getting closed in a few seconds. So, you're probably too late to vote right now. Whew. Well, then. Well, well, well. well. Let's see what's gonna happen, it's gonna be exciting. We got yeah, buddy on the left, EG on the right, let's find out what they are bringing. Uh, once again, a lot of calf for our expected reasons. Um, clearly attack was favored in the last match, that was mostly because of no Falcon at the and also we did have the Anyardo calf, the new calf, that's really really strong on attack especially with the quick reinforcement. We could see the camels though, if you get them in position you are able to hold them off, so there's definitely counters to them. Same for the Fortibarcia, they can hold them off a little bit. Um, so, strong Imperial Spear Guards once again, they are so so strong. Together with the Fortibarcia, anti-calf, that way, good combination. And then for EG, we got kind of a similar setup, but a few more Palace Guards in there, together with the Shield Maidens. Only two Zikali Militia, this time for them, also two on the side of... Uh, yeah, buddy. Whew, I need to cool off a little bit, guys. Just a little. Alright, alright, alright. So, let's find out what's gonna be happening over here. Uh, I gotta get this in here as well. Alright, so let's find out. Camara is here, Susno is here, so the team captains are there. We got Cesper as well, all the guys from EG. And yeah, buddy, as we expect, are there. Sexy Kabob, of course. Baltasar, the support king, I would say. Definitely leading the scoreboard though, I can show you later. Boom and Kagan. So yeah buddy, combination from Plebs and Kebabs. And look at this Sally. We got a Sally. Haven't seen that in a long time. Here we go. Let's see if yeah buddy is ready for it. They do have the camels, they do have some for Let's see where they're going. This is EG putting up a surprise strategy. They're going for the left, for the west side. They're also going for the right side, but not that strong. Trying to interrupt the supply there. Probably Zeus knows who's doing that. Let's see, let's see. Yep, Zeus know. Alright, first to drop is Zeus Lazy Imperator. The hero kill assassin award leader right now. Definitely got that kill going. We can see the longbow sitting on the wall. That's a really good location to have your longbow. That's from Kamira. Look at this. He's got a good overview. Shooting the artillery as well. That's gonna be important also. Just to get those couple kills in. Ooh! What was that trap? All right, that was that was okay. That was a good trap. XCOM, uh, just losing one. Babalao dropping low. Jeff moving off really nicely. All right, so yeah, buddy, doing the smart thing here, trying to protect that one. That one siege tower. Just need to get the siege tower in there. You can see Silent Pain is dropping as well. Here comes the calf from. Kebabs, and I think slowly but certainly the guys are dropping from EG. It looks like Synatic picking up Umbu Bananas, XCOM struggling out there. Stars also dropping, black and red, still alive but not doing too hot there. Stars still trying to interrupt the tower, longbow, gotta go back, the trap is flying in. It's already four traps used, so that's quite a lot. Gamble still sitting at the gates, Houston also sitting inside with the calf, looks like EG did what I wanted to do and the damage is done. Looks like the score pretty even so far, yeah buddy, immediately going to the top, no delay on that one. Strong push back in, Imperial Spear Guard sitting at the front line there for, yeah buddy, we also got a strong push going. On the other side, Boomy Kagan interrupting Susno and the Engagen squad there on the left. Zapper sitting at the bottom defending the game, but I'm pretty sure, yeah, buddy, got control of this one. EG need to get back, they need to save as many units as they can, they need to really retreat Wolf Urfals real quick. I like this approach though, I like this attempt 
But they're losing too many right now. Susan is going to lose his Akali and Militia in all likelihood. They're also losing your Shard Pudding's shields there. Sasper is able to get out though. Supply is getting dropped. Baltasar sitting on the other side going for the supply and the sea point. A mean will also being captured. Whew! No time to rest for the wicked. Why so serious guys? Why so serious? They just had a great game against no beaches. And looks like we got another great one underway as well. Uh, and Gegner, real aggressive from the start. Let's see what it mounted up to. So, losses over here. Synatic, four hero kills. Lazy Imperator, three hero kills. Neurotic, three hero kills. Jeffemul, four hero kills. I mean, yeah, buddy, just picking up all the kills there. And Endgegner mostly dropping Silent Pain, two deaths. Siphon and Teichpumper getting the one on their side, but mostly deaths on the side of EG. Only picking up two total hero kills, I think. Yep. Where we can see so many kills on the side of uh, yeah, buddy. And also, if we take a look at the unit kills. Am I seeing black and red getting 26? That's really good, but mostly I think it was in favor of EG if I look at it generally. Alright, let's go. Lazy pair to getting another one. Oh my goodness. Alright, I'm just gonna put up a bet real quick because this is going to go insane. Um, I, got, I gotta get up a bet about Lazy Imperator. J just gotta, gotta get a bet going about Lazy Imperator. How many kills is he gonna get? This is getting nuts. This is absolutely getting nuts. Alright, I'm just gonna try and do it. Get it done real quick. Alright, alright, alright. Oh, damn, I can't even close this one. That's sad. Alright, alright. So, uh, next game, Lazy Imperator is gonna get a bet for sure. Alright, slide Q3, QT. <gasps> Kicking off Hooker Bananas, he might be in trouble here for running in. Ooh, run buddy run. If he cannot get to the Oh, what's he doing here? Interesting strat here, moving up the trains. Not sure if this is what he wanted to do. The palace guards getting in there. They might be very well braced here. Throw on your shark buttons for the Barcio there. I'm definitely dropping real hard. That's the Kalian throw, is not gonna be close enough. Chimera, get better. I'm only losing one though, so not too bad. Running your guard, clearly winning against Uncle Bananas. Uh, Palace guards here. These are sitting outside, but uh, this is gonna take a lot of time. Start QT, actually picking up the kill there as well. Zark is gonna go in with the shield maintenance, clear out these Rangian, so that's a nice trade. Drop of gold in favor of AG, but now Winkler is gonna go down with his x raiders Surprise unit out there, Cypher. Alright, yeah, but he's stepping on the point. AG trying to form a small line of defense here, sitting on that point. But EG gotta come in, they have given a lot of room to yeah, buddy right now. Bird of Chin sitting at the backside there. With his uh, Red and Vipers, I think, and Baltar also still sitting with his uh, Shenji. This is the only three. Such a big wipe. EG actually lost the whole front line there. They're still sitting at the gate. If any is gonna fly in right now, it's gonna be really, really good. Here comes the calf as well. Dunkel Kagan with the calf. Here comes the counter calf from EG, Siphon, and also the only one high stack. But here comes the Trebuchet. Good. Ooh, traveling mostly their own units though. Alright, so Siphon still seeing the points. Only seven heroes alive from EG. Here comes Unku Banana. This is gonna be a wipe if he does it well. I think so, yeah. Ooh, he wasn't able to get all of them though. Can he get his rage up quick enough? Another kill is going to come in. Who's now with his monastics? Really good charge there. But here comes the shield maidens and the claymores together. A really nice combination for the watcher still sitting strong there on the gate. Susano's Nastanks getting killed. And now yeah buddy pushing for the supply, not allowing EG to get any new ones back in there. They're gonna fight on the supply, they're not gonna allow any heroes to get in there. 
even if the heroes make it, the units just won't be able to get on the point anymore. It's halfway captured. Nice traps, just keep interrupting it. Prime Scrimcrow doing a great job there. Kills are getting in. EG really struggling to get to the point. Looks like, yeah, but he may be having a close here on this. We can see Village Watchman getting in. 3, 2, 1. Here comes the wipe. No, nope, it's already too late. Yeah, but he picked up the first game against EG. Well done. But yeah, buddy, that was a really fast, really, really, really fast game. Damn yeah, it. That was really, really fast. EG throwing everything at the kitchen sink at yeah, buddy. Just trying to get them. Uh, wasn't enough. You could see that Sully didn't work out that well. Really hard to Sully on this map. I mean, there's two supplies. You need to ke keep interacting those. Even if you get the kills, the cap is going to come in for the defender. Um, I think Trebuchet is pretty close, so quick hits. Nice try, though. I mean, Kamira sitting on the uh, on the top. I think that was working a little bit for them with the longbows and also shooting the artillery. So EG definitely planned this one ahead of time, but um, didn't work out too well for them at the end. Sexy Bob getting the hero kills there. Lazy Imperator getting 8. Not making it to 10. Alright, let's make that the next bet then. Um, let's see, let's see. Alright, so big winner. Back to contest. Uh, let's see, let's see. So will Lazy Imperator get more than 10 hero kills in game 2? Yes, no, yes, or no. Duration, uh, I'm gonna get you guys, let's see, let's, let's get you guys a lot of time here. Uh, not too much though, mm, maybe 12. All right, there we go. <laughs> All right. Get it going, guys. He's your Assassin Award leader right now. Alright, so let's, let's get it going. Alright, so quickly pressing on everyone else, and then we're gonna start the lobby for game two. Uh, EG is going to go to the attack. It's clearly attack favorite today. It's been really quick games, really explosive fights as well. You need to get the lockdown on the point and then you'll get it. Uh, EG giving a bit too much space there, I think, to. Um, hang on. Giving a bit too much space there. Definitely. Definitely giving a little bit too, space, too much space there. Alright, um, so we're gonna set up the lobby and then I'm gonna get you guys going in a bit. Oof. Uh, not easy to actually <laughs> get this chilled out. Alright, uh, back in action. Alright, so EG going to sit on the attack this time. Oh man, that was explosive. I mean, EG were able to get to wipe the point a little bit, but they just didn't have to control on the point, like in any way, to really establish it. So, not able to get it going. in so again CIFO band now we got Yan Ye Dao Yan Ye Dao I guess I've had some English lessons or <laughs> Chinese lessons but uh, not that many A bit of self study not gonna work well All 
All right, so get the bet going, guys. Is Lazy Imperator gonna get over 10 hero kills? He's currently having 40 hero kills in total. Uh, just to make sure you understand how many that is, that is a lot. So, here you go. A lazy Imperator. Sitting here with his hero kills. Doing really hot. He just had 8, so he's currently sitting at 38 hero kills. Is he gonna go to... 48. Amya and Sekis had over 70 or around 70 hero kills last season. Is he gonna get to that level? Perhaps we're feeding Amya and Sekis kills and perhaps we're winning every single game. So the fact that Lazy Imperator is actually getting this many hero kills is absolutely impressive. Even in games that the ability are not winning, Imperator is actually getting the kills. So let me know. Do you think they're gonna get to 10 hero kills in the next one? Do you think they're gonna make it happen? Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Alright, gotta figure this out. Uh, no. There you go. And here it is. And there you go. Alright, so that's that. Alright, so let me let me know, let me know, let me know. What do you guys think is gonna happen? Lazy Imperator. More than 10? Yes. Exclamation exclamation mark bet. Yes, and then the points you want to bet. Everyone has got at least 50 points. So you can do exclamation mark bet, yes or no, and then do like 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, depending on how many points you have. Uh, so get it, get it going, get it going. Let's see, let's see, let's see. So we can get... Oh yeah, leaderboard. All right, let's get the leaderboard. All right, looks like we got all teams ready. So I'm gonna switch to... To this one. Yeah, but they're leading. They're gonna have to defend though. So Endgegner, will they be able to actually fight off yeah, buddy on the attack now? There are no Falconati, no Sifanario, no Cav, no Crescent Monks. Crescent Monks, one of the units that absolutely like Kebab has been spending so much, but they banned it this time. They really don't want to play with the bands, so. They don't want to play with the helicopters today let's see what's gonna happen EG game two sitting back losing the first defense against yeah buddy now they gotta attack yeah buddy let's see if they're the first team today to be able to hold off the attackers on core castle the first time we played this map during I think it was around two or three teams were actually able to hold off the, the attackers quite well we saw a couple close matches, but today it's been a quite different story. Incendiary Arches, we saw them last game as well from Bird of Chen, he's been playing them again. We're also seeing the X-Raiders 
sprinkled in there a few times by a few by some teams. I have here is a Gullion this time, also a couple Shenji. Got the longbow. And then of course tons of shields. Look at this. Shield maiden, pass guards, and Imperial Shields. That's a really, really strong a line up there. Definitely fewer malls this time. Tons of uh, long swords. Looks like yeah, but they plan to out heal EG and the boys this time. for the storm let's see would be nice to see another Sally no no just kidding let's not get the Sally let's not get the Sally all right it's not gonna be a Sally will they defend the walls though that would be a first today that is all right so artillery match first Definitely looks like, yeah, but you got a plan here. They're even setting up around the B point, so you can see that they are playing with the Ferengi and with the Claymore Shield made as Mermillion Soul. Pretty fast units. Good to get the flank going. Then we have the even Jeffrey's section. Are they gonna try and destroy? No, 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 they're not gonna try and destroy it. They already need to be quicker to do that. Nice hits there. All right, here comes the Trebuchet. Nice one. No, not getting it though. Almost able to take out two. Nope, not able to take out two. So EG is gonna have to. There you go. Destroy that one. Ooh, this. This is good though. Ooh, Siphon, let's go. Getting erotic. That's a pretty good hit. Ooh, Imperator, what you doing? <laughs> oh my goodness. Crazy shit, guys. Crazy shit. Alright, I uh, gotta find those guys. Oh, yes. I'm pretty sure it was sitting on the ballista. It's gotta be. Nice snipe, getting the kill. Oh, mate! What are you doing? <laughs> well, two and still counting. He only needs eight more to actually get to the ten in this game. I mean, can this man not do something with these daggers? Best game of the game? Who knows? Who knows? Definitely show how strong he is right, right now. If we got a Sally. Here we go. Slide QT. They push outside with the infantry units. Trying to punish these shield mates here from Obla. And actually gonna get it, I think. Bird of Chin also getting in there, interrupting the Imperial Spear Guards. They're gonna to turn back from EG though, can they wipe out the Ferengian? Really strong, strong there. It's only one hit of Ferengian and that, not that many uh, are getting killed. It looks like Slashikuti finally losing it, but uh, all the shield is gone. Also a couple of Imperial Spear Guards. Such strong, strong trade there. A lot was spent by EG to hold that off. So a good trade there by Slashikuti. Dropping in the end, but I think he was pretty happy with that one. He has given up his defensive position at the B-point though, so now not able to hold that siege tower anymore. So EG looking to make their way up there. Yeah, but he's still posturing around the A-point though.
Yeah, buddy, again, looking to make the aggressive play, looking to go outside. EG fully rotating to the B tower. Bring the Shenji, bring the Zikali in. Look how many shields they got, actually. But also still quite a few Kev out. So, they may be looking to go through the gate, but for Torbaccio waiting there for them. They were spotted out, so pretty sure that they're not just going to go through. As we can see the uh, muskets here, making sure to stop the veteran from reaching. This might turn into a real problem, but EG not going to care that much about it right now. But their calf is going to get there sometime. Ooh, nice pickup. Booming King, killing, killing Chimera, the team captain, but now he'll be able to, to use the high ground. Nice bombs here, a lot of damage. He's done, getting a good shot. Psychic is gonna come in with the calf though. They gotta make sure to catch that calf or they're gonna lose the fight. Where's the calf? I wanna see some calf from Psychic going in there. Ooh, Chimera. Ooh, it's a gully and running. That's not good, that's not good. Ooh, black and red, brace, brace, brace. Alright, first calf stopped by EG. And what's gonna happen to the front line here? This is a really good bomb, still dropping the supply as well. We gotta keep stepping on it, make sure that yeah, but you're not able to get any units or heal. The backline is safe for now at least. Shaolin Shu stepping on the points to actually hold off the capture there. Looks like gate finally getting destroyed. Yeah, but he's still holding strong though. Looks like they're pushing EG back. EG not sure where to go, so it must be for the the moving back and forth. The bombs from Shenji flying in. The shieldman from Zarko still Audience sitting up there. The not gonna do much there. EG probably gonna rotate. The gate is really low. Alright, Shenji stayed alive, so that's good. They got the Shenji out so far at least. Although, although. Ooh, yeah, he's gonna go down real quickly. Burp chin dropping. Before he could even get a single one. Quite sure. Yep. None taken. Now EG back to the center, they gotta rotate quickly now, and there's no Forte Barcho sitting there, but I know they're picking up Babalu, further delaying the push of EG, nice, one of like UT jumping down, getting Zeus now, that was a pretty good one there. Ooh, Zeus now really delaying a lot of time though, and his team is finally able to get in there, nice trebuchet, that's gonna hit there, Kamira also gets sitting on the flank, delaying so many. EG jumping on the point. They're gonna get a good strong with them here. That's gonna be a nice trap. Here comes the palace guard. They're gonna brace it on the point. Here comes Malek and Amazing Parker. And if keep an eye on Amazing Parker, he's gonna be so explosive with his skin cars. Ooh, Uncle Banana, where are your Shenji going? Pretty sure they've got nothing left anymore. So the Shenji gone, the DPS is gone now for EG. This means that it's time for the yeah, ability to get the point cleared. So many sitting on the point though right now. You can see Siphon's uh, Zikali in, in the midst of the of the fight there, not the best position to be in. If you wanna hold on. EG slowly getting killed, slowly getting killed. More Shenji are stepping up though. Are they able to get back? It's just a roll, just a fight sitting on the point. That is guard charging in from Black and Rat, really nice charge there. Good counter Shenji there from the engage from yeah, buddy. Another counter bombs being thrown though. Double Shenji now sitting on the top, that's really good damage. We got a couple of uh, X-rays here from Good of Chin, but I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to get him in the back line. Nice, nice throws there. Shenji and Zikali and getting the bombs in the room. But not hitting any with the Shenji there. Or the Zikali, I mean. Camira's Lumbo actually shooting from afar. EG. Looks like they've cleaned the point so far. Ooh, nicely done there by Boomin. Going for the Shenji. Cleaning most of them, at least one unit, two units almost. Only three left minutes come. Counters the Kali in there from Baltasar, the support master on the Abadi side. Shaolin Shu actually being a nuisance outside the way this camels. He was sitting at the gate at first, but now he's being chased by so many from EG. Only two and a half minutes left, so EG gotta go back real quick. Gather their units and actually make a push, but uh, they're a bit split now. They're focusing on the supply, they need to clear the supply, and we can see here Chimera, the boys are getting wiped on the Siege Tower, and I'm not sure the shield are going to hold for much longer. Yep, there we go. Charging with the Mamillions, wiping Chimera's and your Serp, 
And also, shoot me, that's not getting the best of that. Yeah, that's the yeah, Rangers there. And this trap. Not sure if it's gonna do much. That's a little bit of a hit though. Oh, so many guys is gonna come in. Only two minutes. If the gate is open, they may be able to get it. Look at this, look at this. They gotta race, they gotta race. It's all about the gate now. It's all, all about the B point. Tower is not the best idea anymore for EG. Look how much of a race this is. Oh, nice charge is here. Looks like the Zorks got the best of it though. That guy's nice, finally getting through. Oh, these Forte Bratcher are really in good position though. Oh, double for the Bratcher. Oh, this calf is gonna get feeded into the point. But some of it got through and EG definitely making the best of it right now. They got the push going on the B point. Only two defending, one tree. Lazy Imperator is going there as well. The gate is held down. Being held down by Yebedee right now. Looks like not much is going to go happen there. We're gonna focus on the B point. Let's see if they can clear it up. Lazy Imperator getting the kills. I think Jeff and also getting the kills there. Ooh, Babalu, you're gonna be in trouble. There we go. Getting another one. Who's next? Who's next? Lazy Imperator getting another hoop there. Getting the kill. Bloodbath. There we go. They're wiping them right now. Gate clear. Yeah, buddy. Full control of the point. Imperator sitting at 9. Can he get some more? There goes 10, I think. We got ourselves a new assassin award champion. That's for sure. Unbelievable. 10 hero kills. He did it. More cap is gonna go through. 25 seconds left. It should be could be enough to capture the point, but these four to are sitting at the gate, yeah, but it was just in time to actually fully rotate. A couple of the calf got through, but not enough. Oh, nice. Interrupt there. That is a little too late. Even if Dunkel is gonna allow this, and he will, it's not gonna be enough to actually capture a point. Five seconds left. Yeah, but he's still playing around with EG. First team to actually hold off the attackers. There we go. Yeah, buddy. Taking a clean win today. Well done, well done, well done. Sexy Bob getting another MVP performance. He was the MVP master last season. Backed up by Bird of Chen there, then Lazy Imperator. And then getting another 10 hero kills. Unbelievable. He's currently seeing a 48 hero kills this season. What a performance. What a performance. It's early impressive. All right, Neurotic. Winkrow really getting the assist going there as well. Did so well in the first game. Sword was, I mean, not like AG did really bad. They did a the good showing here. They made different calls. They went to the B, they went to the A, but the A fight just not that clean. A bit out rotated and also the Shenji just probably out of ammo when they were retreating from the B point. I mean, they were able to save them on the B side, but then at the A point, they didn't have the ammo to keep throwing the bombs. You could see how many bombs were thrown, but in the end it just wasn't enough so sadly not grouped well enough for EG you could see how much bad they were and then we also had a couple of guys from yeah buddy going outside just interrupting the shit out of them you can see shouting Shu he was actually holding them off quite well there where was it there we go so first fight at the B so many kills were going on there really good from EG, then they rotated to the A location. They got so many kills going on there. And you can see at first they were even not doing that bad, but over time it was just so many messy fights. You can see it with just one team finding the fight and the other one finding the fight. And that's just how it kept going. But the hero kills, huge gap there. 13 only to EG, 42 for yeah, buddy. And that probably says it all. I mean, just so many, so many guys from EG falling through the death. And the guys on the Abbey getting so many hero kills. Getting the two points. Much needed. I mean, no BGS dropping a po dropping a game. Uh, why so serious? Still in the, in the game, of course. Even for contesting against uh, the team that is Yabedi right now. Uh, but Yabedi still in the race. Four second place.